campsite back of this cornfield. A little bit of a walk to get in here. This time of year it's too muddy to drive in here. Our old home site, we've got some nice relics out of here last year. And uh, got the AT Pro with the 5x8, hoping to get some old relics. Maybe some silver, an old copper would be nice. Anything along that line. And hopefully uh, there's some left and we'll, we'll come out with something good. See when we get in there. 56, 58. We'll give her a dig. Maybe it's a shotgun brass, but you never know. All right. It's a pistol or rifle cartridge, one or the other. That's what it ended up being. All right, we got a deep one here, down seven inches. That's pretty good for a six inch coil. And our second find of the day is gonna be an old iron buckle. I think it's a horse buckle of some sort. Glad to have it. Awesome. 65. And if you look, you can see it. It's right there, we got it uncovered. I'm thinking that's gonna be a button. Some sort. Oh, let it be a, uh, it might be a rivet actually. Rivet or a button. Oh, I will clean her up a little better and have All right, a look. this side isn't exactly cutting it. We're heading back towards the truck. Still swinging the coil though. Got a musket ball, woohoo. Get another spot we're gonna hit. Our real good cornfield. That's where we're going next. All right, we're at the other cornfield, and I got the Atari 2600, aka My Lab Xterra 705, with a big crop circle orange thing on the end. And uh, I'm right here along the road where there aren't that many nails, so I decided I'd get this out with a three kilohertz coil, because Kelly really killed it right here next to the road last fall. And uh, dug one hole, got a little 3630. And uh, it's green, it's in frame now, and it's mine. Hopefully it's an Indian. But I have gotten wheats out of here. Well, this one's gonna be uh, well encased in patina, so I'm not gonna be able to tell right now. That's one coin, one hole, so far. All right, we got a good signal here. Best signal so far. Locked right in on 77. About the right size. I'm betting that's an Indian penny right there. Who wants to bet with me? I'm gonna uh, get her out real careful. Indian penny, anybody? Anybody wanna take that bet? there and we have got look at that look at that looks like a penny to me whether it's an Indian or not I can't tell I'll be right back we'll see if it is I think I see it. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Looks like it might be a button of some sort. Is that what that is? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Cleaner up at home has a nice patina on it anyhow. Finally, we can do a wrap up outside. The grass is green. I know you still see snow in my videos. That's because they're a couple weeks old. I keep a pipeline of videos and only put out like one a week. That way everyone has a chance to see it. If I put out like three or four and overwhelm everyone. Like I, I have, I'm subbed to over a hundred channels. I'm sure everyone else is too. And it's so hard to keep up with everyone's videos. 
That's another reason why I tend to keep them under eight minutes. You know, once in a while I'll put out a long video. Well, anyway, here's what we got. A couple lion buckles. Uh, I think that's a, like a corner piece to uh, like a trunk. Here's shell casing. Square nail. A couple three round balls. 35 Remington. A couple mini balls. A couple buttons. We just thought that was a button, but it, it's not. It's good. You can see where the screwdriver went on the end there to turn it in. This one here we thought was a uh, a coin, but it ended up being a button. The shank was broken off. There is some writing on the back side there. Old clad dime. A couple pair of Wheaties. And this one here is the one we thought was a, was an Indian in the cornfield. It's ended up being a 1916 Wheaty. And uh, this thing here, that's probably the best button right there. That little flat button there that still has a shank on it. No, it's not much, but in the pipeline coming, we got some fantastic finds. We got some great stuff coming. I got at least four or five great videos coming. Uh, just be patient. I'm only going to put them out one per week unless I really get backed up that I may throw a couple out in one week. But like I always say, stay thirsty, my friends.